Hey everyone, a few key points for overheads. I know one of the most disliked uh, shots, but so important. So first things first, continental grip, of course, always. I'm seeing that the ball's coming up high, both arms up. And DeVore always talks about a quarterback dropping back in the pocket. I don't know that much about football, but since DeVore tells me, then that's what it is. Drop here, and then if the distance is a little further, cross over and then shuffles, or if it's just anywhere here, you can shuffle, but you can correct under the ball in any way. Mike, what is so important about when you search for the ball what, what, with the arm positions? My left arm, and you don't have to hold on to a ball. You can either do it with your entire hand. Some people feel comfortable pointing at the ball. Left arm has to stay up until my right arm comes up. Super crucial. And then you, as, as well, you want the right arm as well up so, so you're not dropping it too low? Correct. Okay. So that way, if I feel like I'm set, I can start my upswing and then make contact with the ball. All right, so we see that on the 253035 level, you know, we teach the same clientele. What we see too often is that the ball comes and the people back paddle. So first of all, it's dangerous. You can, I saw it once, you can fall on your back of the head and that's not efficient obviously at all because you're already open, you can't get pace on the ball. That's the least efficient form of, of doing it, right? And then one great drill, guys, for keeping the left arm up. Maybe, maybe you want to do it, I'll Mike, do I'll feed you one up. So I'm going to pop a ball up to Micah there and she's going to keep the left arm up. So she keeps it up until the right arm starts to go forward. She's not going to swing and hit, she's just going to track the ball. So I'm going to be right here. I'm going to feed Micah one up. She's going to track it and tries to pop it up. Perfect. It worked right at the right off the bat. And um, one more. Yep. Sure. All right. So look how she, she do it. searches the ball. And it's right in there. If it's shorter, you shuffle forward. But if you see but the way Micah moves her feet, and that's the most important, she sees the ball comes up, she turns, and now any direction you want to go, you're ready to go. And that's the key about the overheads. And then one more point, Mike, I wanted to ask you, how important is the contact point in front of the body? Because I think there's a misconception that a lot of players think, if you look at the line, that your contact is right above your head. But in reality, it should be a little bit in front because if you have it above your head and your racket head is slightly open, that's when they go deep. So you want to be in front of your head here. If you can see it from the side about here is where your contact point is. And, and Michael, through. one more thing. Sure. Do you squeeze your racket tight when you're up there? Tell the players or do you, are you loose? I'm pretty loose to be honest because yep. if I'm squeezing too tight, I'm restricting my natural motion. So I'll just hold it on so that I'm not dropping my racket. I love that. You hold it on so you're not dropping the racket. So on my terms, what I like to say, if 10 is like squeezing as much as you can and zero dropping it, you hold it maybe on a two. Right? Yep. Can we take I'm with that. All right, guys. So it's not about the muscle power. It's about how smart you hit the balls and that you're relaxed. And uh, yeah, great, great advice on the feet because it starts with the feet.